What's up YouTube? My name is Francesca Fit and today I'm bringing you the first mobility YouTube follow along video that I've done in two years. So I'm super excited. Just to sum it up, life always is going to derail us. So it's up to us, our sense of discipline and our commitment to consistency, to jumping back on whatever our train is and sticking to what we want to do, okay? I know all of us have goals and everyone has different things to do, different roles in our life, different duties. And sometimes that can derail us, it can distract us from what our actual goals are. But today, we're setting our intention and we're gonna focus on mobility. So thank you for joining me, thank you for committing to your movement, let's get started. So for this morning movement routine, we're gonna do a follow along series. We're gonna hit the full body from head to toe with some super gentle, easy movements. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, let's start at a hinge. So I'm gonna hinge at the hips and I'm gonna come back up to standing. This is just a super easy movement to tune into those hamstrings, open up those glutes a little bit. And for a lot of us that have a little back tension, we actually hold a lot of that extra tension in our legs as well. So if you're somebody who has like a finicky low back or a lot of tightness in your back, make sure that you're giving enough attention to your legs too. So we're just gonna hinge. And on the next one, I'm gonna come into a squat and back up. So again, hinge. Now adding the squat, coming back up. You can change your foot stance if you want. I'm gonna play with this stance that's a little bit more narrow. So now let's make this a little bit more dynamic. Instead of standing up at the top, we're gonna hinge back and then up to standing. So hinge, squat, eyes up, hinge, stand up, hinge, squat, hinge and up. Now let's play with the bottom of that squat. So wherever you feel comfortable with your squat, we're gonna come down to a position where we can still maintain that integrity in our spine. So I'm not just going solo that I collapse. I'm gonna figure out where I can hold tension, where I can be strong and still really push into those ankles. And on those ankles, I'm thinking about maintaining and arching my feet and driving my weight over my pinky toes. Come up back to standing. We're gonna repeat that one more time, just hanging out at the bottom of our squat. Wherever we have tension in that squat, where we can maintain strength in our squat with a proud chest, that's where you wanna be. Grip your feet to the floor, your heels should be down and planted. And then if you feel a little bit more comfortable here, think pulling yourself down with those hamstrings. You can even push with your elbows into your knees. And I'm gonna shimmy here. So I'm gonna shimmy to the left, shimmy my way to the right, Left, right, nice and easy. Now let's play with our squats. Well, squat pattern, it's not a real squat. We're gonna come into a lunge. So from here, I'm gonna come into a reverse lunge. You can drop the knee if you like. I'm gonna keep my knee hovering. And I'm really gonna focus on tucking my pelvis under here. Then from here, I'm gonna drive my hips out, coming into a sumo stance. Back to my lunge. Tucking under, feeling a nice deep stretch in that quad and other side. Reverse lunge. Owning this position before I transition, driving the knees out, coming back, and standing tall, other side. Reverse lunge. Sumo. Reverse lunge, and up to standing. Woo, my quads are feeling the team. All right, next one, let's play with that hinging pattern that we started with a little bit more. So we're gonna come back to standing, and instead of just hinging straight back, I'm gonna hinge diagonally, so my hips are gonna come into the corners of those walls. So I always like to think if you have, if you're in a room and you have four corners, you're trying to touch your butt to the corner behind you. So we're not just coming to the side or back, think diagonally. Coming back up, hinging diagonally. We like to call these hip roots if you're somebody that likes names for all your movements. 
So we're rooting our hip, diagonally reach. You should feel that stretch anywhere on this side. Some of us feel it more in our butt, some of us feel it more in our hammies, some of us feel it really deep in those hips. I usually feel this really deep in my hips. And then as I push further, I might feel more glutes generally, but I don't feel too much happening on this one. Actually, this one I get a little bit of like lateral quad, just a little bit. Maybe some TFL. All right, enough exploring the muscles. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that hinge. We're gonna stay in our hinge and we're gonna mobilize our knees, ankles, and feet. This one's yummy. We like to call this one Tootsie Roll if you're somebody that likes names. So again, coming up to standing. And just to remind y'all, when we come up to standing, especially when it comes to a mobility, movement, body awareness practice, we don't just wanna come into our relaxed position. This is me in my relaxed position. Doesn't look, doesn't look very engaged. So I want y'all to think tall, neutral stance. So I'm engaging my feet, spreading my toes, even thinking about ripping this yoga mat with my feet, I'm trying to rip it apart, externally rotate through my hips, engaging the glutes, Lifting that pelvic floor and getting tall through my spine, rolling those shoulders down and back and reaching into the ground. And if you're somebody that likes these type of movements and wants to dive deeper into the easy, gentle mobility work, go check out my body weight program. It's fantastic and I have different levels for you all as well. But let's keep going. We're gonna go into that tootsie roll that I mentioned. So tall neutral stance, start with intention. That's why I went over that. There's a lot of intention in this tall standing position. And then we're gonna hinge here. Hinge back, maintaining the integrity in my midsection, feeling the engagement in my hamstrings and glutes. From here, I'm going to maintain the stability in the hips and my torso. What I'm going to do is I'm going to internally rotate my feet, bringing the knees close to each other. And then from here, I'm going to rock the knees forward, lifting my heels, coming onto my tippy toes. And then from here, I'm going to imagine that I'm coming in a circle with my legs and feet. So now I'm going to Shift the weight from my big toe to my pinky toe. And from here, I'm gonna draw or like push onto the edges of my feet. Coming onto the heels. You could even fully extend the knees here. Ooh, if you have that. And then we're gonna come again, internally rotating. Now try and come onto the internal edges of your feet, onto the toes. Edges of your foot, heel, and reverse it. Now we're going the edge of the foot, toes, big toe, ball of the foot, inner arches, and back onto that heel. That one's a little bit more, more dynamic, has a little bit more control. If that's challenging for you, you can just keep your feet flat and just start with that circular motion first. This is already gonna be great for your feet, ankle health here, especially the knees too, so, and the hips, everything, all lower body things. But you can try keeping the heels down and Think arches engaged here. So you're going to engage that foot. Find that stability in your foot. And reverse. And for anybody that likes to warm up before you go to the club, I love to. <laughs> it's silly, but this variation is great. It's a little, way more dynamic, a lot more deeper, a little bit more challenging. So we're going to come like squatting up, out. So you can kind of like. Add a squat into this. Woo, all that crack and lacking. But that's just a super advanced variation. I never teach that to anybody. Just letting you know that it's in your toolbox if you want it and if you like getting, getting down. <laughs> ah, all right, next one. Let's go and get some movement in our spine. So for this next one, we're just gonna come into a lateral reach. Such a simple, underrated exercise. If you've done any of my videos, any of my programs, even checked out my Instagram before, you've seen this because it's not going anywhere. It always works and it's always gonna work. And this is just a super easy way to stretch out all those itty grease, especially those lats on that side, super gentle stretch. Setting up my tall, neutral stance. Intention through my feet, externally rotating through the hips. Bringing awareness to my midsection, getting long through my spine, rolling my shoulders down and back. Woo! Team, I'm sweating so hard right now. We're gonna bend the arms. First thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna bend laterally. So the reason why we like to cue these things in a series, I don't just go right into the movement because first we wanna isolate just the trunk and then we'll add in the arms. So we're gonna really just see how far we can bend in our trunk first, 
See if you get a stretch already. I find a stretch here. So now once I feel the stretch, I'm going to reach my arms as far apart as I can. And I'm going to try to go for straight arms. Breathe into this, wiggle out the neck, let it relax. Come back to center. Same thing. Bending, 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 bending. Seeing when I feel the stretch in this top rib cage or in your lats, even those tiny little muscles in those shoulder blades. Ooh! And back. Ooh! I'm burning alive. I'm about to turn down this AC. Oh my God. Bend laterally. Keep that intention in your midsection, down through your legs, root into that mat. Reach. Give your neck a little wiggle. Reach with those arms. And one more each side. Then, then reach. Oh my gosh. Bend. This one never gets easier, especially this one's all about intention. Especially when you do it with intention, you feel like you're about to rip your own rib cages off, rib cages off your own body. Ugh. All right, we're gonna come down to the floor. We're gonna still hit that spine again. We're gonna hit our upper body, and on this one, we're gonna do a little bit more restricted movement. So we're gonna come down to the elbows. I'm gonna bring my hand up to my ear, and then I'm gonna tap my elbow to the opposite wrist. So this is your starting position. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring more tension into my lower body. I'm gonna tuck those toes under, squeeze my inner thigh, squeeze my glutes, maintain tension in my midsection. And now with all that tension in my midsection and my legs, I'm gonna open up as far as I can. I'm not gonna push it and I'm not gonna let my lower body move around right you don't want to try to go as far as you can the goal is to maintain all of this tension in our original position with our body and only open up as far as you can hold the top position come back and repeat open up follow your eyes onto that elbow so look at your elbow the whole time Other side, so elbows are coming down. I'm resetting the tension in my legs, tucking the toes under, squeezing those inner thighs together, squeezing my glutes. My hand comes onto my elbow, and now my right elbow comes to my left wrist. That's your starting position. Open up and close. Notice one side might be way tighter than the other. Today, my good side is tight, which is surprising. Couple more reps. Try to get five to six. And last one. All right, team. Hope you're feeling good. My body's already starting to feel amazing. A lot more open. I feel a lot more just in tune with my body. Next last one actually we're just going to end with a kneeling spine wave so we're going to come into a child's pose and the goal of this one is to just focus on articulating the vertebrae in your spine so those little segments try to tune into that and just breathe on this one this is a great one to relax add into warm-ups add in between exercises even on lifting days this is just like the bee's knees all right personal thing so arms straight. I even like to do knees a little bit wider here because I'm able to get a little deeper in the hips. And then I want you all to think hands spread the whole time and I want you to really grip your hands to your mat and the elbows stay straight the whole time, okay? Elbows are super straight. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flex just my low back first. So I'm gonna tuck my pelvis under, squeeze my bum, and then I'm gonna round through just my low back as I start shifting my weight forward. So as I shift my weight forward, I start following that wave into my mid-back, into my upper mid-back, into my upper back. Then I start tucking that pelvis under even more. My neck starts to wave. And now I keep my arms straight as I follow the wave all the way through into extension. And here at the bottom, I want y'all to take a look. I'm not loosey-goosey. 
I have a tension here too. I'm tucking the pelvis under. I'm actually pushing into the earth with my legs and I'm pushing the floor away from me, pulling my shoulders back. Then from here, I'm gonna tuck my chin and reverse that wave. So I'm gonna wave through my neck, upper back, mid back, mid lower back, low back, and lastly, wave through that tailbone. Try to lengthen your tailbone to that wall behind you. So I want you to think long spine at the bottom, straight arms, hands engaged. We're gonna wave through your low back, starting with that pelvis. So I'm tucking the pelvis, waving through the low back, waving through my mid low back, mid back, mid upper back, upper neck. And then I find that intention in my pelvis. I tuck it under and I pull my shoulders down and I push the floor away from me. Think about trying to create a big gap between your ears to your shoulders and then reverse. Chin to chest, push into your neck, your cervical spine, upper back, mid back, low back, and sit all the way down. So that's your last one. To end it off, I want y'all to just play with that wave in whatever way you want. You can be in like a quadruped position, play with it. Whatever you feel good, I'm just gonna rep it out and play with it as well. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but this is your last opportunity to just tune into your body and do whatever feels good, and then we're done, y'all. Here we go. All right, team, it's a wrap. Thank you so much for moving with me and dedicating time to move your body and get into your body. I know a lot of times we're in our head and we're so disconnected from our bodies, but doing this consistently is what's gonna help you and your goals. So remember, everything works together, all right? Recovery, performance, sleep, and recovery. So stay at it, keep on being badass, and I'll see you later.